folks welcome to the outdoor wilderness wildlife adventures and i'm your host Heike Lou. and this is volume 21 part 2 i'm going to process some of these knots with the exception of the one that's on top i want to show you how beautiful this piece is that is one beautiful knot a natural knot folks and i also I'd like to show you a mall what they call a mallet a wooden mall and this is for batoning and this is what i'm going to use today when i process my fatwood and I do have a video coming out that I recorded when I showed you step by step of how to uh, shave all this wood down I'm letting this wood dry right now this wood is going to dry out and then I'm going to sand it down nice and smooth and it's not as heavy as, as it was when it was wet so the wood is drying and it's getting a little lighter now guys and that's a beautiful mallet something I could use when I'm splitting the bat with, with a knife. This, as you see, it's beautiful, very beautiful knot. I'm not going to cut this because this is like a trophy piece for me. I begin making a cut and then this, I change my mind and then I just wanted to leave it totally in the natural state. This is one beautiful piece of wood, folks. And I'll show you how nice that is. That is a beautiful bat wood. So this is going to stay the same. I just want to bring this out here, put it out so you can see this. So these are the three pieces I'm going to process today, folks, with a little homemade, with a little mallet I made, or a maul, M-A-U-L, it's a maul. This is what's called a wood mallet, folks, and this is beautiful the way I did that, but I'm not finished with it. There's a few other things I have to uh, finish on this to make it complete. Now, what you need is a saw, a knife, and a hatchet. So that's what you can use also if you want to make one of these folks. Okay, so let's get this show on the road. I'm going to set the camera up in a minute and I'm going to begin processing some of this wood. Stay with me. Okay, folks, this is volume 21 part 2 and this is called Process Back Wooden Burn. This is the second half uh, of that video. So look at how beautiful these knots are. Look how beautiful. And these are incredible incredibly old, old pieces of wood. That is amazing, folks. And this is what I'm going to cut into today, along with this one also. This is a little smaller, but it's an incredibly old piece of wood from a very old tree. Very beautiful wood here. And the last one here is also another beautiful knot. I just want to show all three of them to you before I start cutting into them and processing this so we could do a burn. So I'm going to start off with this one here. So. I'm going to cut this piece off here. Alright, as simple as that was simple. Now I'm going to, I think I'm going to just cut down this a little bit. I, need, I think I'm going to need the, the, the heavier blade. Yeah, that is some serious hard wood here, folks. Look at that. That is incredibly hard wood. Beautiful fat wood right there, folks. So what I need to do now, I'm going to split this right down the middle here. And this is one incredible hard, very hard knot. That's why I'm doing this. I almost forgot to use this. I made this, this, and I have a video giving the instructions on this that I will come out sometime next week. So I'm going to see if this thing is going to really work. Okay, there we are. Be careful with my hand with this. Wow, this is incredibly uh this this piece here is pretty big. A little bigger than my hatchet, but I'm gonna see if this thing can cut through, but you did. Oh my goodness folks. Look, look how incredible that wood is. Look how beautiful that is. That is this incredible. That is a seriously incredible uh old fat wood. Look at that. Okay, I got three pieces of that from this. This is some serious old wood, folks. So I'm gonna baton, cut this down right here, and see if this thing really works or not. Well, it's working already. And that is some serious, oh, that is a beautiful piece of wood. I'm gonna leave like this with the exception of cutting this piece off. So I could put this uh, with a ferrocerium rod and a striker, and you put it around your neck, and this will be a survival piece of fat wood to get any fire started even the wet conditions folks okay that's gonna stay that way i'm gonna cut down in this here one more time let's see that is some 
hard work, folks. All right, cut this little piece off. That's exactly what I was looking for, folks. Look how good that looks. That's some beautiful bad wood. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one down also. Next one, now look at the size of that, folks. This is a one beautiful old, very old piece of wood. So, and I'm having fun using my uh, mallet, my wood mallet I made. Okay, we're gonna cut this down right here. Beautiful, that's a nice old. I like the color of this little piece there. Look at that. Wow. This is incredible. That is incredible wood here, folks. I'm gonna try to cut on the outside of this. I'll show you all the wood when I'm done, folks. This is some incredibly old, beautiful fat wood. For that. Got one more now, folks. I'm gonna cut this down. All right, here we are, number three. Number three. Now look how beautiful that knot is. Wow, folks. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that incredible or what? Is that incredible fat wood? This is totally incredible, folks. Oh my goodness. Look at that, wow, look at that. That is an incredible piece of fabric, folks. Not to mention this, that is just awesome. High octane fabric, folks, high octane. All right, what I wanted, wow. That is solid wood, folks, woo. Cut down, there we are. Look at that. That is an amazing fatwood, folks. Just take a look at that. Look at that. Coming around. Oh my goodness, look at that. This, if you could see, is where the branch was connected to the knot that was connected to the trunk of the tree. And I got as close as I can because most of it uh, decomposed. It rotted away and what was left was hardwood. This is totally solid. And I'm going to keep this as a trophy. Every little piece counts. This is pile number two. You can see that. That's the second pile of that knot and branch that I just cut up. And here's pile number three. This is the larger out of all of the three. And look at that. Look at this backwood, folks. Wait until I put it on a cutting tape give you a bird's eye view that we're going to do a bird. I'll be right back. Welcome back folks to the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures and this is Scouting Fatwood Stump Adventures Volume 21 Part 2. This is called Process Fatwood and Burn. And here's some of the wood that I just processed and cut up and it's not in the final stage. More like a rough cut. So here we are folks. Look at how beautiful the wood just like I say, as good as it gets, I don't know. Maybe it's going to get better. Who knows? But this is primo fatwood, folks. This is high-octane pine resin, saturated, soaked resin fatwood. So this is it, folks. I'm going to get on with a burn now. I just want to give you a bird's eye view. And I will conclude the video with another last look. I will give you one last look when I finish doing the burn. And then we're going to say goodbye. So this is Scotty Fat with Stump Adventures, Volume 21, Part 2, Process Fat Wood and Burn. Look at that. That is incredibly beautiful wood. So I'm going to take a stick from each pile and I'm going to do a burn for you. We're going to do fine shavings, which is the tinder on the smaller scale and the curl shaving, because it's going to be the kindling. So, I'll be right back with you folks. Stay with me. 
so if you see this beautiful piece as you can see this very beautiful piece of fat wood I'm going to take some shavings and then I'm going to take curl shavings off of it on a smaller scale tinder and kindling so just give me one second we're going to get started I just may make the curl shavings first so let's see this this is beautiful the way it cuts just like it's a wax look at that look at this folks That's enough, that's enough shaving. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to scrape some fine shavings now. And I'm gonna do three burns for you folks with three different piles of fat wood that I harvest from three different knots. This should be just perfect here folks. So what I'm gonna do, let's get this show on the road. I'm just gonna get this lit for you. And like I say, if it takes more than three strikes, rearrange it do something with it i mean you can go beyond three strikes if you want if you really think it's going to light but usually if everything is right with it within three strikes it should light there we are one time what i'm going to do is i'm going to transfer that there and i'm going to put some shavings right on top look at that folks the way that's burning There we are, folks. Look at that. That's burn number one. I'm just going to let that burn a little. Just to let you see the power of the burn, like I call it. The power of the burn, folks. And the power of the burn is getting in my face. I'm breathing this stuff, and it's not good. The wind is coming right at me. Go figure. There we are now. That's the power of the burn. You see that right there, folks. That's it right there. That burn? Okay, so I'm gonna put this out right now. Out. And making sure we're gonna to get to the next one in a minute. Here's burn number two. An incredibly old, beautiful piece of fatwood. It has the same potency as the first one. But I just want to show you each knot that I processed, the branch and knot. I'm gonna do a burn from each one of them today. So here we are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some fine shavings first. This is a beautiful, beautiful, this is a beautiful piece of fabric, folks. And look at these shavings, these curls, I mean, these fine shavings are so nice. Okay, we're going to keep going. Piece of that wood is coming off. Here we are folks. Look at that. How beautiful that is. Okay, just a few more and then I'm going to work on the kindling. That's going to be the curl shape. One more time, folks. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All right. Okay, I think we have enough shavings here. Okay, we have enough shavings. I don't waste anything, folks. All right. First pile, that's my shavings. Now we're going to do, uh, I'm going to take some curl shavings now, which is going to be the kindling, and that's on a small scale, finer and much bigger curl shavings.
look at it. Another beautiful work of art. Look at those curved shavings. Really nice. I, I have enough here. So, like I said, it's not really windy out here today. So I'm going to take the curl shavings and put them on this side. Now we're getting a breeze. Got to go. Okay, folks, here we are. Now it's getting windy all of a sudden. Okay, want to make sure. All right. Like I said, anything past three strikes, it's up to you. You can keep going. I can't tell you what to do, but that's going to be on you. We have the smaller shavings, which is the tinder. The bigger curl shavings are, is that kindling. So watch. Like, there we are. Okay. And that's it. Once that gets up, let that catch. If you got enough wind, just throw them right on top. And that should just take straight off like a rocket into space. Look at that fuel burn, folks. The power of the burn. That wood. Pine resin fat wood, folks. And there it is. And look at the way that's burned so nice. And this is burn number two. And I have one more burn I want to uh, share with you. So we're going to put this out right now. Like I always do. So we're going to do burn number three. And I think I want to use this beautiful big piece of wood. So this is going to be burn number three from this beautiful piece of fat wood. Look at that. I'm going to keep it just like that. So you can put this in your backpack and you've got fire for I don't know how long. Just the shavings to get anything lit, even in wet conditions. So here we are. I'm going to get the smaller pieces first. I'm going to do the tinder now. Have enough here folks now what I want to do okay move this up front I'm gonna take make some curl shavings from this now there we go okay folks I believe we have enough shavings for this oh yeah definitely these are not the biggest piles of shavings that I had uh, made in previous videos, but for demonstration purposes, this is just fine. So, I have tinder and kindling, and this is on a smaller scale, so what I'm going to do is light the finer shavings, throw it in this tray, and throw the curl shavings on top, just to show you the power of the burn. There we are. So take my little burr serum rod and there we are. Third strike. Like I said, three times on that third one I got it. Can't get it on the first try every time. So just let that burn a little bit and just kind of move it over. And let that burn. And just throw some of the uh, curl shapings right on top. And that's all the that, first she wrote. And that is it, folks. There is a power of the burn, and this is burn number three. These are three different burns from three different knot and branches, folks, that from an incredibly old, old pine tree. So this is it, folks. That is it. Okay, so this is Hike from the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures, and this is Scouting Fat with Stump Adventures, Volume 21, Part 2, Processed Fat Wood and Burn. And this is the power of the burn. Okay, welcome back folks to the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures. Here we are, we're back. And here is just one last look at the three piles of the uh, fatwood that I harvest today. These are three knot and part of a branch from the fallen dead pine tree that I harvest in volume 21. That's them. And here we are. So, one last look folks. I'm gonna go nice and slow so you could look at the quality and how beautiful this bat wood is. There we are, nice and slow. Get nice and close for you. And you can see that, how beautiful this fat wood is. Wow, incredible. I'm gonna stand that little piece up right there. Look at that, the intensity, the saturation of that pine resin. 
Okay, there we are, folks. This is high premium. This is L. This is high octane fatwood, folks. Beautiful fatwood. And I just did three burns from each one of these piles. I took one stick from, with the exception from the third pile because this stick gave me a little trouble getting shavings from it. But when I you do have an edge like this, see that edge right there? When I have an edge, it's, it's easier to get the shavings from. This is more rounded off and it was hard to, this was more rounded off and it was hard to get some of the shavings off of this. But this is one incredible piece of fatwood and I'm gonna leave it just like this. It's beautiful fatwood, folks. That is premium fatwood. So I have a video I'm gonna be coming out of how I made this mallet a wooden mallet we call a mall m-a-u-l and I did this myself right here at the cutting table a few about a week ago and this is hardwood this is white oak and it's drying up sandalwood wood is getting lighter but it still is very dense um, strong you know hardwood this is white oak and this is very very hard so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna kind of make this a little small I'm gonna make the top the, the, the head a little smaller because I hit I got to make the, I got to trim this down just a little more including the top piece because that's a little too big and I kind of hit my thumb with that and I wasn't too happy about that I don't want to get hurt using my tools so this is what I have here folks and this is the mallet the wood mallet that I baton to split the fat wood up with the knife okay folks this is Ikalu from the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures, Scouting Fatwood Stump Adventures, Volume 21, Part 2, Process Fatwood and Burn. Until next time, be safe.